here we are. Oh, all right, here I am, uh, Tom Wani with Fiber Read, and I want to explain the principle behind Fiber Reads. Harry started over two decades ago trying to mimic a cane reed. And the two things he wanted to do was mimic the long, strong fibers as well as the cellular structure that supports the fibers. So he developed a hollow fiber that, as you can see, goes the length and it's also cross-woven across the reed. He does about 11 to 12, up to 13 or 14 woven layers to create an amazing mesh that adds sound of a cane reed, but is much stronger um, and plays very, very easily. So this is called the natural reed, and that was Harry's first reed. The next reed developed was the cane reed, and what he did was every three to five labor, layers, he weaves in carbon fiber. And so you can see the layers, the carbon fiber, more hollow fiber, more carbon fiber, more hollow fiber, and you get that amazing, beautiful pattern. This reed sounds a little bit brighter. The carbon adds some tenacity, which adds overtones. Um, and so it's a different sounding and playing reed than the natural. The third reed Harry came out with was the hemp reed. And it's the same idea, but instead of weaving in carbon fibers, he weaves in hemp fibers. The hemp fibers make it a darker sound and an earthy sound, which is a great contrast to the other two reeds. Just recently, Harry has been developing fiber carbon for fiber rods and fiber plates, which are materials to make mouthpieces um, and other parts for instruments. And we also developed our own reed from the same material. So this material has carbon fibers in the material itself, and it's much easier for us to make than the woven reeds, but it sounds absolutely amazing and is super easy to play. Uh, this reed's gonna be priced uh, lower than these um, and make it more accessible as well. But they're all unique and uh, we highly recommend you try them out. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs>